And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for our last Tuesday Brewsday deck of the night. We got Jeskai taking turns. We are trying to go for the the 20 and 0. That is correct. Uh, this is the the farthest we've gone on a stream without losing, going 15 and 0. So we got a lot of pressure here for our taking turns deck. I'm not feeling great about another 5-0. Here with this one, but you know we're just gonna play the games and and uh, see if anybody can defeat us. Um, what we have going on here is we are trying to do exactly that. We're trying to take all of the turns in the game. We got our four Nexus of Fate, and we got three Karns Temporal Sunderings. In order to help enable these cards, uh, one with Karns Temporal Sundering, you do need a Planeswalker or a Legendary creature, which we don't have, but we need a Planeswalker in play to be able to cast it. So we have four Teferi, three Karn, three of these Teferis, two Narsets. So we're going to need um, one of these 12 cards in play to even cast the Temporal Sundering. But still, you know, like that costs six mana. Um, and like, you know, so our curve's kind of high. So we're going to be trying to to see how this works with Fires of Invention. You know, maybe we can have, if we have a Fires of Invention in play, we got six lands. We can just drop Teferi and then immediately drop Karn's Temporal Sundering also. Um, and then just take another turn and we get to untap with our hero of Dominaria. Um, I'm trying the Mind Stones to help speed this deck up. I'm thinking the Mind Stones may be really good for the deck, helping them speed up uh, and and uh, ramp. It doesn't work super well with Fires of Invention. But remember, with Fires, you can still cast your card for mana-wise. So like if we have five lands, for example, we could cast like Teferi for free and then use the Mind Stone and our five lands and, and cast Karn's Temporal Sundering and so on. And then, you know, we can cycle the Mind Stones whenever we have, uh, whenever we're later in the game. But this is un untested. Let's see how, let's see how this uh, goes. We're going to go on over to Traditional Historic Ranked. And let's see if we can have fires of invention and take all the turns. I may not have enough card advantage. I don't know. We're going we're just going to kind of see how this works. No, I don't build the decks on stream. I build them off stream. We got double temple to help scry. This is third blue and third. I guess I could keep this and put steam vents back. I don't think I want to draw a nexus, another nexus right now. Get it, Ascanta. Ascanta is a huge part of our deck. Of whenever we start taking extra turns. This is kind of the tough thing, though, is because we need, we do need more lands, of course, to be able to get to get to Nexus, but we also just need other cards. But putting the land in the graveyard does help our Escanta flip. Ten life. They have a bunch of burn spells. I, I'm gonna be dead if I clarry on now. If I don't clarry on now, that is. We'll just clarry on now. But if they have a bunch of creatures, then I'll regret the clarry on now. Karn usually does a good job hitting your land drops. See? Make you 
use of that later. And Karn does a good job of going through the whole deck. You know, takes out an extra two cards a turn. Meant to hit the upkeep there to have another uh, have another stop because as you can see I just I wanted to get rid of the hallowed fountain and just throw that in my graveyard. Um, we need to nexus first. So now we have you know we have all four nexus in the library. Keep this here to go to the graveyard. And we're digging through. We're looking good. Target player, me. Looking good. Oh, I didn't upkeep scry. That's okay. What was lost is now returned. Whoops. I didn't actually want to do. I am <laughs> didn't want to actually spend the mana on it. On it, of course. I mean, this game's over. Well, I don't know. We got 31 cards. Yeah, it's it's probably over. Yeah, it's definitely over. It's good to just get these shuffled back in. This fires of invention is actually hurting me now. Okay. As far as, if you're wondering how we're actually going to win, is we're going to win with the Karn minus two, start making Karn Strucks. That's how we're actually going to win. Yeah, that's what I was about to do, is put the, yep, yeah, that's what I was going to do, is I was going to go three mana to fairy, bounce the fires, and put it back into my hand. Okay, so against Mono Red, I want the Baffling Ends, and I think I want Dovin's Vetoes. 
I'm going to get rid of Realm Cloak Giant, get rid of Narset. Maybe not all the vetoes. <laughs> yeah, Karnstrux. Hey, what's up? Pay to win. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Look, that was pretty good. Well, thank you so much there, Pay to win. Happy to have you here. Our 23rd sub of the day. Move that back. Maybe one Realm Cloak Giant. No, let's go with Chandra. Yeah. No, Chandra doesn't matter. No, I should have done Realm Cloak Giant. No white mana, but we got some scries. We have white mana, just like we had the whole time. Best of three historic is ranked, and best of one historic is not ranked. Those are the two ways to play historic. So his frenzy's gone, that's good. I think in case of another frenzy, I want to hold up the veto. I'm just going to play Steam Vents. I don't think I need to scry this draw step. I have a good turn next turn anyway. Alright, now we need to find more removal. Uh, it doesn't really do anything right now. Oh, wait. I don't have white mana to hold up. Veto now. Not punished. Sweeper. Hmm. We need to move quickly. There's a lot of things that could kill me here. Risking it. Yay. All right, get that back in the deck. I should have cast that during my upkeep also before I drew. Anyway. Um, I 
The reason I didn't go fires into Teferi is because then I couldn't have Dovin's Veto available for a... Ugh! Oh, wait. Wait, I, I have fires now. So now I have fires. So that's good. Or all... It's not good, but I guess I just have to... I have to fires now. Now I don't get to hold up Veto. Gosh, I really want to hold up Veto, but I also really want to ultimate this to Fairy. Keep up the pace. Maybe I should have scryed first. Yeah, I probably should have scryed first before drawing. Yeah, I definitely should have. All right, so I... It's kind of all up to right here. If they kill me or not. What would I have gotten? If I would have scryed, I would have seen nothing. I would have gotten just land. <clears throat> That's the problem with playing the fires. Yeah, so the next turn, so I was going to ultimate this Teferi, and then the other Teferi, I was going to tuck the fires. That's That was my plan for the next turn, and so that then I could have had Veto available. Because the veto, you know, saves you from the the top deck burn spells. Alright, taking the Chandra back out for Realm Cloak Giant. Get that sweeper a turn earlier, because Chandra Emblem, it doesn't matter <laughs> with this deck. Oh, nice. Well, let's hope they're not too aggressive and or hope we draw a Deafening Clarion. Clarion. Boom. Now we need land. That was a good turn for my opponent. Not playing another creature and just being able to do all that damage. I want them to play another creature. All right, I need to draw. Need to draw a land here. Darn. I advise that you use. They're probably not killing me. Well chosen. No time for a break. Well, the game's the game's basically over. Yeah, the game's over if they don't kill me this turn or to fairy. They don't kill me or to fairy. This game's over. That's a good sign. <clears throat> Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not scrying. I'm using because I need the seven mana to cast Nexus of Fate. I need to tap my mana. Use Teferi's un untap untap ability. Oh, I could have scried. I guess I could have scried on my end step though. Right. That's that's where I could have scried. Right. 
Nothing is ever Give me this back. Skip to the good part. Because I think we should be able to ultimate to fairy. Golden guy. Yep, this is officially over. Hurry. Why did you get another Karn? Can't is good. I guess I want back up to fairy too. <clears throat> yep, that's over. All right, Jeskai taking turns beating Mono Red. Even though we have like no life gain. We just uh, we just combo. You know, like right there, we just had. Is that like a turn five kill? It's turn six kill. Ugh. All right, one out. It's mulliganing, good. Usually I don't say good, but right now I, w I would like to get this. I'd like to get a 5 0. <laughs> Correct, Zythan. I have not. Not today. <sighs> Putting in the castle in the graveyard is kind of rough because that's one of my win cons. And that's probably a good card against. Watery Graves. This is probably a good card here, but it's also just my sixth land. I guess we're going to keep it, though. You show <laughs> I'll show what do we tell the God of Losses? Not today. Wizard, that looks pretty nice. Okay. <clears throat> what do we got going on over here? Narset. Come on back over here, Narset. Keep an open mind. Might be a bad idea. Right on schedule.
If they tick up, they don't draw a card because of Narset. So there we go. Narset gets tucked. Nars is my fastest way to dig for more extra turn spells. Did not find an extra turn spell though. My, yeah, obviously the Nightmare is Elder Spell. It looks like that's what they're digging for. The focus and discipline encounter no. I have just the trick for this. Yeah, I'll, I'll be making a token on their end stuff. Yes, Thought Erasure me. Oh, wait, not during draw step. I'll protect you. Don't Thought Erasure me during draw step. Just do it right now. Nexus is an instant. <clears throat> so if we hit Nexus. We would have been able to cast it. Yeah, Hawkeye went to the vet today. He got a lot of teeth pulled. So he's... He's not feeling great because of that. But... Um, right now but he's going to be doing better now and we think that was all that was wrong with them was his teeth were real bad and he was really having trouble eating because of it all right let's start with karn and draw a card here need to move quickly. okay don't draw a card there <laughs> that didn't work. I can long stand by and watch. There goes nothing. You cannot see your folly. I guess if I would have played an, an un, if I would have just played an untapped land, I guess I could have activated castle twice. Could have activated castle on now and on end step. I went with the temple to scry to to try to set up. We were pretty un, unfortunate for not, not. Whoa, Oath of Teferi. That card's awesome. I'm jealous. So they can activate their Time Raveler twice right now, which doesn't really do very much. Oh, I've done the hero thing. <clears throat> no, I am not making this up as I go. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Um, to balance this, I don't draw a card, of course, because Narset, but whatever. 
I'm still just taking the Teferi up and untapping the lands. I'll make use of that later. Fury will only lead you astray. That'll do. That'll do. Alright, so we want Dispute, Narset, Chandra, Vito, and other Teferi. Out goes Clarion and Giant and... Uh, Mindstone? I don't know. Could take out the temporal sunderings. Nah. I guess it's just mine's done. <laughs> Alright, Radical Guru. Yeah, gotta get to bed. Yeah, you can check it out tomorrow at the end of the run. I don't know. I feel bad for taking out Mindstone. Yeah, fires is awkward with counter spells for sure. I could have taken out fires. I guess. It's basically we have the counter spells for before fires resolves. Fires is like our combo enabler at towards the end of the game. But yeah, maybe maybe that's the card to board out is just fires. That's a good call. We'll kind of see how this game plays. Thankfully we're up a game and we have like kind of a test game here. Sure. Hit our land drops. Hand's not too bad against Thought Erasure, because we just make sure we can play lands and play the cards off the top. Yeah, I love the edit emotes too. Those are really cool. Okay, well, we drew two more lands. Put two more lands down to the bottom. Thief of Sanity, huh? That's what we're doing these days? That's what we're doing these days, huh? I don't, I don't like my odds against Thief of Sanity, honestly, because like, I guess we have to like keep in removal, but yeah, I mean, we just have to play removal. Good news is, is three mana to fairy is usually pretty good against Thief of Sanity. This is just a much more useful hand. Let's look for blue mana. That's blue mana. If they have Thought Erasure into Thief of Sanity, I'm in a lot of trouble. I hope they do not. I guess, oh, Mystical Dispute counters Thief of Sanity, so I'm not in that much trouble. Never mind.
Never mind, not in that much trouble. Gonna keep mystical dispute because again that, that does counter thief. I won't you know what? I'm not done yet. Really hope no planeswalker removal. They put an Elder Spell to the bin over here. I guess no they could have Mystical Disputes. Sure, hope not. Go, Castle, go. Hold that thought. Boo. So it can't be countered. So we did not counter it. We need to move quickly. Come on. <laughs> so many lands. Uh. Reverse. Flooded bad last game, too. Of course, we didn't really get to play because they just had turn three thief. <clears throat> me to phase you out of time? Yeah, eventually we will physically run out of lands no to draw you. Hopefully. This Castle Ardenvale is an all-star, though. Nexus, Nexus. What's up, Silver? Thanks for getting that resub back here. Ten awesome months. <laughs> Goodness with the tricked out high votes. Okay, well, that gets two, two lands out of here. I 
won't let you win. Alright, so I brought in three Clarions. This would be a good time to find one. Hold that thought. Clarion. Ugh. Clarion and Nexus. Stone and Karn. This is going to hurt. They, they may just take the rest of the turns now, honestly. I'm glad I took out the Temporal Sundering, so there's just the Nexuses. But it's possible if they just keep hitting Nexuses, they could take the rest of the turns. I'm really hoping that's not the case. But Thief is brutal. Well, there's a Clarion. And an Ascanta. They took something better than Ascanta. Uh, I'm really worried we're losing this one. Yeah, we just got this really epic flood. And something better than three mana to fairy. So their two cards are better than Ascanta and better than three mana to fairy. There are so many missions. Meditate and prepare. All, can, all things considered, that could have been worse, I guess. What do they shock in for? Feels like mystical dispute, doesn't it? I'm going to play around mystical dispute here. Not mystical dispute. That of course hurts, but it's not 
too bad. I'm at 22 cards. Presumably four Nexus is still. I think we got it now. Yeah, the previous decks you can find on the Stream Decker page there, or if you want to see it in action, it's up on the YouTube channel with a link to the deck list on the YouTube channel as well. Um, what they re reveal? No, I don't want to put that on top. That's not a card I want to draw. I thought I was looking at what, what they revealed. That's not what I wanted to do. Always punish. Okay, GG's. 2-0. The dream's still alive. Dream is still alive. Whew. Still alive. Ah, man. Yeah, I was super worried with that double thief hit also. But I guess they didn't really get anything. They got a Narset. But yeah, that was definitely worrisome. Good old Mindstone. Getting us that one extra card. Speaking of. We have turn three Teferi, turn four Teferi. It's like we're we're already we're already ahead of the game. We're already playing. Um, core 21. Getting our core 21 practice in right now. Overgrown tomb. Salt high. That command the Dread Horde's pretty good. I know my responsibility. Let's try this. I thought about just like ticking up and like letting them play another creature and then have Realm Cloak Giant for the two.
I'll just do it right now before they get to use the Gilded Goose. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to just play the hero of Dominaria and tick up. Let them kill Time Raveler. That's that's probably the play. Like the phases of the moon. Like what to the library. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. <clears throat> oh, we need we need to take some extra turns. I don't want them. I mean, they yeah, you know, they could have grabbed Gol Golgari Queen and killed the Time Raveler with that. Oh, that hurts. Nothing. So I'm not taking... If I grab the Temporal Sundering, I get to take another turn right there. But I think just the value of the Ascanto over time is certainly worth it. Okay, that's perfectly fine. I really don't need that card. Oh, I should, I should cast the Nexus first. Duh, and then draw. Keep an open mind. Hmm. Why am I not casting this Nexus during upkeep? I just never stop my upkeep. Oh, I still had one extra turn? Well, that's great news. This might be a bad idea. Let's skip to the good part. I would like to take another turn, bounce the Narset. Did it upkeep that time? Did it correctly? No, I am not making this up as I go. Hold that thought. <laughs> Just the 
trick for this. Um let's get this thing out here. If you wish to surrender now, put thoughtfulness before action. This is over. Let's skip to the good part. No, I should be activating Narsa first. Meditate and prepare. All right. The only reason to keep playing is to just ruin my clock, I guess. So they're gonna have they're gonna have a lot of stuff to disrupt me after sideboarding. They're gonna have a lot better chance here after sideboarding. This is these are gonna be the tough games to win. They don't have as much interaction game one. So this is this is kinda tough because I want to play. <clears throat> yeah, so, so yeah, we just take, yeah, that's how we'd win is we take infinite turns and then he, we just make creatures with Arden Veil or just play the Realm Cloak Giant that's a 7-7 seven, seven and, and this. And they have no battlefield because you just exile everything that they have with the Teferi, with the Emblem. And yeah, you just take all the turns. <laughs> I forgot after like 10 of your turns that they were playing. Um... Let's get like these two spicy vetoes in here. Hmm. This is just replacing two mind stones with two vetoes. I don't know, because they still have all like the big all the creatures and everything. Oh, this is going to be tough. <clears throat> yeah, turn three Karn. That could be cool. For sweepers. Thanks, Ant Man. They cannot play Jade Light. Okay, they're going another one of those. Graveyard. Darn. <laughs> yeah, today's 5-0 day. I suppose. I could have just, like, passed and held up veto for the Tamiyo. Whoa. That was not the play I was expecting. Please do not do yeah, that kills the Karn, but we get all this stuff out of here now. I hope they play Tamiyo or something to veto. Let 
slow this down. Trust me, I have a plan. This mine sound's been really good. Yeah, Karn, I mean, Karn gave me five life and drew two cards. I mean, it drew the the Fires of Invention and drew the Clarion. So, yeah, it drew two and gave, gained five life. Oh, why didn't I play the fires? I could have played fires and then... Yeah, I definitely should have just played fires and then... Uh... Here we go. And then that. Hmm. One mana off of Teferi plus Temporal Sundering. Yeah, I, that was that was a mistake. Could have had that Teferi in play and drawn a card there. This, you know what? I'm not done yet. I've got it. I am not going to sit this one. There goes nothing. Well, I'm trying. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Seek and find. Um, maybe, maybe I would have had to go fires. And then I mean, I might have had to go on fires and then temporal sundering and then untap and have. Uh, this up as I go. No time for a break. Oh, I should have activated castle. And then untapped it. All right, so 4, 8, 12, 13, 14. Gone through 14 lands. I think you will find my notes helpful. They're going to have an awesome Command the Dread Horde here, though. I went for the risky play of... Why would you want to gate? I have three mana to ferry in play.
Yeah, I can bounce. Yeah, I can definitely bounce the giant and cast it again. This isn't a fight you can win. So I've cast one temporal sundering so far. That hurts. Yeah, I don't really care about the fires. Keep up the pace. I've got time. Sorry, I have to do this. Don't worry, I got this. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Whoops. To have one extra, whatever. So the veto doesn't do anything, of course, because of their Teferi. But now we can start exiling their stuff every every card we draw. No scries. We got lots of good draws. I'll protect you. I'll do. Get out of here. This is sanity. I'll take an extra turn. Bounce this wild growth walker. I'll keep stop. Trust me. I have a plan. These lands down to the bottom. Now what? The focus and keep an open mind. Looking good. This might be a bad idea. I'm getting too old for this. No, scry. What 
But you just leave that stop there for good. <laughs> yeah, this deck is pretty brutal. <sighs> Alright, 3 0. Here we go. <laughs> Just got here, don't understand it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's mean. It's trying to take all of the turns. It's not a very nice deck. GG's, Emux. GG's. Good hand to mulligan. Hmm. I guess it's the Temporal Sundering, even though I do like Temporal Sundering. I gotta ramp into this Realm Cloak Giant. Gotta bounce the one drop. <laughs> Questing Beast is really brutal for me, for sure. Could definitely see this being a loss. But don't want to let them, don't want to give them the mana to cast another questing beast. Gosh, why do I have to have shock lands? I want to play the Realm Cloak Giant this turn. I can't play the Realm Cloak Giant, though. Our some solutions must be built. Here we go. All right, Scry, if we have an extra turn spell, oh my gosh, we do. <laughs> As I say, <clears throat> Amnesiac. 
Thanks for the sub there. Alright, so we're gonna draw the first one so we can draw it and play it. And then we're gonna tuck another one under the Karn. We have one tucked under the car right now, right? Yeah. Like, looks like we got him. Yeah, I mean, we got him. We have another one tucked under the car and still. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep up the pace. More scries. We're spending so much mana every turn, it's ridiculous. Fires of invention is broken. And that's game. We need to move quickly. Ugh, I didn't think we were winning that. Ugh, didn't think we were. But we got the Hawkeye luck. Hawkeye luck. Yeah, definitely scared of this deck after Cyborg. Yeah, Questing Beast is just the card I'm really scared of. Like, I, I don't have instant speed removal for Questing Beast at all. Oh gosh, Cinder Vines? Yeah, Cinder Vines he'd be a huge Yeah, Cinder Vines is just gonna wreck me. Yeah, we're we are definitely pretty big underdogs here, games two and three. We just gotta steal one. That's the thing though, we just gotta steal one of the two.
Okay. Mulligan. 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 Come on, I'm going down to six. It's the cool thing to do. Nah, I kept their seven. So I can... Uh, I could keep, and then we, we have our land drops, and then we have our awesome top end, and we just have to draw the, the stuff in the middle. I think that's kind of too risky. This is kind of too risky also. Gosh, this isn't great. Uh, this isn't great either. Hmm. but I, we're not going to go down to five. We need Clarion and Baffling End. Oh gosh, Burning Tree Emissary is legal? That card's busted. Ooh. They didn't play anything else though. They didn't play anything else though, Hawkeye. That's probably game. So, assuming that Cinder Vines was their draw, because if they just had Cinder Vines in hand, they probably would not have... You know, they probably would have just put it into play off the Burning Tree Emissary. Until you have lived as a statue, I'll make use of that later. If we untap with the fairy, we probably win. Darn. We don't untap with the fairy. Let's keep digging farther into the deck. Ever truly lost. Hmm.
<clears throat> Alright, so we'll get to ferry via our car draw engine again. Alright, back to them. We cleaned up though, had had some good turns there. You know, whenever they passed to us, they had a questing beast and a cinder vines in play, and now they don't anymore. Ugh. Should have kept that other Teferi. Oh, you think I should have just tucked the fires? Last turn. With the Karn, or sorry, with the Teferi instead of drawing a card. All right, get the life link in there. Gain seven. Roll Cloak Giant's looking a little better than Cleansing Nova. Yeah, this is CMC three or less. So yeah, we can't just take the Rekindling Phoenix the first time. Karn's been an all-star. I mean, well, Fires of Invention's awesome. Karn's temporal centering's been awesome. Wow, that lifelink. Pretty important right about now. So important. They can do another two damage with Cinder Vines. But that should just be it. Should just be it. That's four. That's four. We beat the Gruel deck. Cinder vines and all. The real final boss. Y'all getting nervous? Y'all getting nervous? Do we finish the night with the clean sweep? <laughs> Everybody's telling me I need to end the stream now. Everybody's... Uh... Everybody's saying, just end the stream, 19-0. Good enough. I mean, 19-0 is like what? That's like, that's a... That's the perfect uh, record for winning the Super Bowl, right? Like, you go 16-0 in the regular season, and then you win your three playoff games. It's like the perfect NFL season is 19-0. <laughs> Thanks, Kaysons. <laughs> yeah, like the baseball no-hitter. We're not supposed to talk about it.
they don't want to pair us against anybody. Nobody wants to play us. Nobody wants to play us. Not today, Desil. That's what we tell the god of losses. Not today. I'm not sure yet, Antigar. Not sure yet. <laughs> They're looking for the 19 0 opponent. That's it. Yeah, we just beat the game, I guess, right? We beat the game. <clears throat> Roll credits. <sighs> we beat the true final boss, Magic Arena. Yeah, okay. Looks like we did it, okay. We beat Arena. We beat Arena. We beat Arena, okay. Yeah, I can cancel and retry. All right, looks like cancel's not working. We'll just have to force quit. Yeah, is this college rules? The final boss didn't show up five minutes, the game's canceled. <laughs> Okay, okay. I, I'm honestly surprised that we've gone 4-0 with this deck, honestly. We're just not going to get paired? Arena just won't pair us. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. I guess we just put back Mindstone. I mean, I might as well put back a land, not Mindstone. Which I guess would be Temple of Triumph. What you doing, okay? The Lana War Elf. What you doing? Deafening Clarion. You can hear that Clarion around the world. It's so deafening. All right, Karn, start digging. That's right, Karn. Evil must not be tolerated. Game one in the books. Looks like Gruul aggro. The missed land drops.
Looked like Gruel though. Yeah, and they they also knew that I had another sweeper. Uh, Cause you know, like the Karn had a had another sweeper tucked. All right, now we need to draw Planeswalkers. No. Rontodon. I guess I could have played Steam or Glacial Fortress here and just played double Mindstone. Oh gosh. Questing Beast probably means good game. I don't, I don't know how I'm dealing with that Questing Beast again. I mean, yeah, this game's just got to be over. Well, that's just lethal. This is not a matchup I like. Basically don't like my matchup against Questing Beast at all. The rest of the deck's okay. I don't I don't mind the rest of the deck. Questing Beast. I don't I don't think we beat Questing Beast. Alright, game three. Gotta get lands. Ugh. Dawn. That doesn't die to Clarion. That's a great hand. Turn two Brontodon. All right, good call. What? They just let Brontodon go? Come on, land. For us, land. Come on, land. So close. We need this land. Wow. That's how we lose. Just a land drop. Wow. What a what a loss. Anyway, awesome. Uh, still awesome league. Uh, yeah, we looked we looked great there. If we would have drawn a land one of the last two turns, especially the. You know, with the turn that we draw the fires of invention, we still would have been at you know thirteen, and killed all that stuff. But then even even the next turn, still being at, or we would have been at what, uh, fifteen. We would have been at fifteen still, killing all that stuff. But then even the next turn after we had, uh, after we had fires of invention, if we would have drawn a land, um, 
you know, I didn't even have to play the Realm Cloak because we had the Nexus of Fate at the time. So I didn't even have to play the, the Realm Cloak Giant. I could have just gone to Fairy for free and then also Nexus like that that very next turn and then just gone from there um, and start taking up the Teferi. So like really, like we draw that land, we win. <clears throat> so that's how we lost. We had two draws to draw a land in our 26 land deck and the, the deck didn't give it to us. Still, yeah, y'all are right. Epic, epic day. Unbelievable. 19 wins. Yeah, I'm, I'm blaming her. Yeah, Arena just didn't want me to win that, that 20th. Thanks, Dan Mechanic. So there we go. Uh, Jeskai taking turns definitely felt real. I mean, the only card that I was scared of that we played against all day was uh, Questing Beast, really. I mean, well, Thief of Sanity after sideboard in the Esper decks was also kind of scary. But that was it. Like, uh, everything else wasn't too bad. Even even Cinder Vines is, was fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, Heart of the Cards let us down. Didn't quite get the 20-0, but unbelievable. Um, <laughs> All right, y'all on YouTube, watching later on. You have to do hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about the 19-0. And, you know, feel free to... Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this deck if you're playing it later on. I understand if, if you don't like the deck. I understand that there's people that don't like the the whole all the taking taking turns, all that kind of stuff. But I have to say today with four brand new decks and just four brand new brews and just playing Tuesday Brews Day, unbelievable Tuesday Brews Day today. <clears throat> I have to say. All right, but uh, thank you so much for watching everybody on YouTube. Um, you know, yeah, hit that like button, leave the comments. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.